want to shoot a quick video. One of the things we talk about when doing a uh, fixed installation is the ability to service the strainer over time. A lot of our work involves replacing strainers that are broken or something has happened to them. So what we recommend is that you install your strainer threaded on. So we're currently putting a uh, eight inch PVC schedule 80 system on this pier in uh, Solomon's Island, Maryland uh, for fire protection. And so using an eight inch strainer, ETT, ETT brand, you notice it has a back flap for back flushing. That'll be important to help get uh, flush out. Uh, little critters are gonna wanna live in there, especially crabs, small crabs and whatever. So fire department back flush that, they blow out that whole pipe. Um, and then, so this is the female end. It's been glued on, so this is a female slip fit to pipe thread. And then on the pipe, which will be that pipe, on the pipe, the suction pipe, that's going to be the male end. So 10 years from now, 15 years from now, you need to change out that strainer. It's underwater. You don't have to send a diver down there with a saw. They simply can go down and unthread this strainer and thread a new one on. I think that's an important feature when you're doing uh, what we like to call a permanent or fixed installation where the pipe remains in the water all the time. It's very hard to go back and fix. We fixed one a couple year, a year and a half ago in New Jersey, required a diver, required the guy to go under underwater with the saw, cut the pipe off, you can't glue underwater. Took about a $300 uh, repair fitting under there. It had just been a lot easier in the beginning had it been designed to be threaded on. So anyway, little tip, wanted to add that in. We'll uh, try to show some good photos once we have the whole installation done here at this pier. Uh, at Chesapeake Energy Services.